hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide how are you sending you the purest of love and light as always god is for us who can be against us if this is your first time i welcome you returning soul tribers new soul tribers thank you so very much for your continuous love for your support really truly appreciate you again we are blessed we're highly favored we're anchored we're safe and we're protected all right so the first card here it says shine bright reminds me let the song rihanna sing with diamond shine bright so it says it's never a mistake to give of yourself some will take it for granted others may take advantage of it do not allow bad energies to overpower your light and that is so true it's like it doesn't matter what happens in life i believe mother teresa has a poem you know it's like do it anyway go anyway give anyway so it's like even if you were hurt still love love anyway even if people took your kindness for weakness give anyway of course with wisdom but again the the point here is that you don't allow other people to stop you from doing what comes natural for you or allow the things that people have done to you to make you bitter i believe that the people who love the most are the people who have had their hearts broken the most the people who are the kindest are sometimes the ones who have been stolen from it's like the best healers are the ones who went through the most pain broken heart because it's like it takes something when you go through certain things and you can come you you come back evolve it's like you put all of that pudding in the in the oven the mix you mix it up you put it in the oven and then when you take it out you have a cake i mean that is transformation that is rebirth so this is the encouragement here. Do not allow bad energies to overpower your light. Because that is why we have a force, light and dark, good and bad, God and the devil. Don't ever allow the negative things or people's negative energy or because somebody didn't return an act of kindness the way that you wanted them to don't allow that to change you still be kind be loving be caring anyway because that's who you are again everything with wisdom you're not a doormat but again you're not going to pass somebody on the street who is in need of your help and not render it all because somebody else in the past took your kindness for weakness so shine bright and like stars we keep shining they cannot stop us from shining this is why again hurt people hurt people and this is why the other side they're on a mission to cause so much hurt to trigger us to see if we can get back to their level and know it's like you have done too much work on yourself in order to go back there you're not going to do it miracles in the dark in the darkest moments it's easy to feel lost and alone when you stay focused on the light you'll receive blessings beyond your wildest dream again stay in the positive stay in the positive sometimes yes we get lonely along this journey and we may feel lost and alone right but keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes, keep focus, it is saying, on the light. You'll receive blessings beyond your wildest dreams. Because there are certain things in life that you have to go it alone. 
And a part of that is your own transformation, your own rebirth. It's like nobody else can do that for you. Going within, searching for your purpose, your destiny, this is all for you. And again, on this path of being chosen, it is normally a lonely path. Thank God, little by little, because you you stay the course, then it's like when you get to the other side, then you meet other soul tribes and we can talk, we can celebrate. But yes, up until or until such time, it can be a lonely journey, but do not be afraid because you are not alone. God is with you, but this is a process that only you alone can go through. Only you alone can do it. So it's like, just keep your eyes on the price. Do not give up. Do not give in. Don't allow the silence to get to you. You know, it won't be forever. Spirit of life. Remember, you are never alone. Well, the spirit of life is with you. The world takes care of you. Allow yourself to rest in this realization and feel the lightness in you yeah like i said you're not alone you're not alone god is with you your angels are with you to take care of you and it's like just cast your cares upon him i mean being alone is not a bad thing a lot of people don't want to be alone and I can't imagine why not, because you're spending time with yourself. If you don't like spending time by yourself, then who is going to enjoy spending time with you? Some people, they always have to have crowd and have people around them. This is a time when you get to know yourself. Also, you get to know God. I'm telling you, at least for me, one of the, if not the best thing, is the isolation. Because persons may have thought that by them turning people against me or doing things that they are hurting me. But no, you look at the seed, it grows in the dark. Remember before when you take pictures? It was processed in the dark. So don't be afraid to be alone in the flesh, but at the same time is knowing that God is with you. It's the peace that it gives. The contentment is like it's priceless. I mean, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. So keep shining. Miracles happen in the dark. Like I said, you know, it's, it's the transformation. It's that caterpillar. You will see, you know, looks like a cobweb in the tree. That's when it's kind of like it's it's digesting itself. And it just look ridiculous. But then after the process, you know, so it's like don't focus too much on, on what is happening to you right now. The growing pain. Think about the beauty. Like it says, focus on the light. Keep your eyes on the prize. It's like there's a lighthouse, you know, and in order for you to get there, keep your eyes, keep focus. It's like with Peter, keep your eyes on Jesus. You won't drown, you won't sink. And that's what we're called to do. That's what we're called to do. Wow. So that's what you're called to do there. And here we have, you may have persons who are working in the background. Mm. It says here, be aware of anyone from the past wanting to enter back into your life. Yeah, because sometimes when you start to shine bright, people in your past, again, like a moth to a flame, your light will attract both good and bad. You may have, I mean, be aware of anybody for a matter of fact. But again, some people in your past, maybe it's after 
you left that connection, those people, places or things that you start to grow, evolve. And now you're shining, now you're in your purpose, you're confident, and you may have this person, these people want to come back into your life to kind of like knock the shine off of you. They want to dim your light. They want to bring you back down to ground zero because it's kind of like, how dare you? Who are you? So this is why you're warned to be aware of anyone from the past wanting to enter back into your life. Not everybody's coming back for good reasons. Because for a lot of these people, they, are, they have not healed. They're not changed. They're not interested in doing the work. So this is why you have to keep your eyes, keep your eyes on the prize. And it says the person hating on you has narcissistic behavior. And absolutely, this, this is a part of the narcissistic abuse. They always want to bring you down. They want to cut you down to size. It's like a plant. Every time you spring up, they want to come and chop you down. Because it's like, again, how dare you work on yourself? They don't like the confidence. Because they want to have control over you. So you'll notice a lot of people, especially sometimes ex-lovers, man or woman, they'll want to come back when they hear something good about you or they see you're doing well because a lot of them they left because you didn't look like the one you didn't fit the part so they pass you over and then now it's like what who where when how and yes they want to come back so they can level you down and then when they break you down then they leave you they want you to chase them and all of this, this is how they get their ego spiked up. That, that works for them. But it doesn't work for you. Because if you entertain this person, man or woman or, or family, whomever, if you entertain them, for example, if it's in a romantic situation, if you entertain them, then it's like, then they walk away, they leave you. And you feel like dirt. It's like all this work you put in just for those few minutes, was it worth it? You know what I mean? And then it's like, no, you have to start the process over. And then they abandon you again. You don't hear from them. You ring their phone, they're not going to answer you. Or what are you calling me for? And then they start talking to you in a rude manner. Because it's like, no, they got you where they want you. So these are things to consider, you know, before you allow certain people and i know people change but again let them show you you know actions speak louder than words all right so for some of you you know you may need to have amethyst it says psychic protection controls spiritual energies while dreaming and can help with insomnia and nightmares so again miracles in the dark so you may need amethyst psychic protection uh spiritual energies when you're dreaming and it helps with insomnia and nightmare okay and sage so a lot of cleansing i'm seeing here too yeah it says your significant other is sending you negativity so again, this could be why you're feeling so down because somebody's projecting negative energy at you while you're in your darkest moment. It's like kicking you while you're down. And it says it's easy to feel lost and alone. So when you stay focused, so just stay focused on the light. And again, it talk about cleansing all of those, the amethyst, you know, the sage, to cleanse your space. You know, of course, prayer works. You know, I love music, listening to your high vibrational. I mean, I, I go to gospel all the time. 
but you know it's like whatever to keep you out of that sad place because that's where they want you to be because they want you to feel like an outcast it's like you're on an island by yourself but again if you learn to change your perspective use that time to work on yourself to heal past traumas because these are the things that sometimes put us in the predicament in the same place in the first place because we have these unhealed childhood traumas that we have not dealt with mommy daddy issue rejection abandonment issue low self-esteem and then when you're in that place where you love to please people you're naive you're gullible when you don't heal those broken places in your life you are the perfect candidate for a narcissist because it's like you are a mop in their hand they have you mopping the floor they control you because you don't know who you are so use that quiet time to heal yourself to work on yourself to mind your own business to get creative you know like it says they're sending you negative energy the card here at the back it says causing chaos and fights in your love connection so again it's a lot of projection of negativity so if you're having chaos and fights in your love relationship sometimes you have to look at the root of it what is the cause of it because again people could be projecting negativity on your relationship i mean you have to think it's spiritual warfare the enemy does not like to see solid relationships good partnerships it's not you know always trying to separate cause division isolate so it's important to that's the perfect time if you are on the same page with your partner at least somebody need to say you know let us let us pray let us go to counseling what are we really arguing about what is it all about because it's a lot of the times too the devil is in the details the devil is in the background pulling strings the person causing you negativity is an earth sign again i know there are three signs I believe capricorn virgo taurus but when i think about you know negativity i don't know why but it's like capricorn always come to mind i don't know if it's because it's the devil you know but it always comes to mind it's like i just look at the other two signs as yet one is about perfection and you know hard work being strong and determined but yeah so just keep keep focus you know it's like pray fasting whatever you need to do to to work on yourself you know again it says venus retrograde dealing with insecurities appearance body image worth worthiness relationship or sexuality so again it's it's this is like spice spirit of life is like you know with the music dancing just life a lot of good vibration again to just be comfortable in your own skin you know it's like turning up the music and dancing even if it's you alone in the house or wherever you are it's getting back into that child child like energy knowing that you're not alone god is with you because again like i just talk about it dealing with all those insecurities within your body within yourself if you're worthy of relationship sometimes these are negative projections that are sent at you and so the this is like the perfect time when you're alone to work on yourself but like i said even the bad people they don't like to spend time by themselves to work on themselves it's like it's too much it's too hard 
because they like to be in crowd. Even Jesus, while he was here, there were times when he sent his disciples away. He wanted quiet time to be with, with God, to spend in prayer. And so, I mean, it's for us so we can work on whatever insecurities that we have in ourselves. Because when you've been hurt so much, sometimes you don't feel like you don't you don't feel like you deserve real love true love when people talk down on your shape your size they compare you to other people you know if you're not in that right place it does something to you so this is what i'm saying being by yourself it's a time to heal to you know process things yourself why do you feel this way? What is it, you know, to heal, to cry, to cast your cares upon God? Nothing is wrong with spending time alone again. Miracles out in the dark. And it's like when you heal and restore those, you know, it's like having that childlike faith again. Being comfortable in your own skin. Knowing that you are love, you deserve love. Knowing that nobody's perfect. All of us have our own insecurities. Another person may be strong in one area, they're weak in another. And see, this is how even in relationships, you partner with someone and it's like you balance out each other. But if we allow these nagging thoughts to stay in our head, it, it holds us captive. And again, a lot of these things you were told as a child, you were told these things by your family members, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not beautiful enough, you're not handsome enough, you're just like your worthless father, you're just like your careless mother. Just different things that break your spirit. And it's as an adult that you have to confront these things inside of you. Because for a lot of us, I'm telling you, the, the behaviors and the lifestyle that we have engaged in, a lot of it, the people or the partner that we attract, it's because of our experiences. It's because of the things we didn't get from our father or the things we didn't get from our mother. So we end up being with somebody who is similar, but see it's a difference when you're healed. Because in the past, it's about like hooking up or the age, the clock is running out, you need to get married. But see, when, when you heal, when you transform, then you realize it's about vibration. That connection, it's not, it's not just merely physical. It's, it's spiritual. It's spiritual. And this is why sometimes we outgrow each other in relationships too. Because it's like you were just connected based on 3D things, you know. And you realize there is more to life than this. It's like this person becomes boring. You know, so just be aware of anyone coming back. Because they just want to work on you again. To bring you back down. It's like you've done too much work. You've come too far to go back now. It doesn't matter how tempting it looks. You know, sin is sweet. But then in the end, you know, it's like it's bitter. So it's, it's a part of the healing process too with these people coming back. It's really to see sometimes God is testing us to see if you're changed. Are you really ready for the next level? You know, so so sometimes these people, they come back. It's, it's a test to see have you outgrown this person. Are you still in that lustfulness? Do you have control over your flesh? Do you have self-control? And I'm telling you, sometimes when you heal to that point, 
where like for example now like like i can say sometimes looking back at photos of like my ex or so is like you i look in their face and it's almost like i don't even remember them it's like i was married for almost 20 years and it's like i don't remember him i don't know maybe he feels the same about me too but i really don't i don't i don't very rare i my mind run across him or something but i don't and it's like i can look in in the eyes and i'm like i don't even recognize that person i mean to me that's a part of the healing because it's almost as if i i i shift confirmation it's like i jumped a timeline where we just don't resonate like connect like that anymore it doesn't mean that you know they're not working on themselves but you know it's it's just the way the healing process is you know so definitely here we have the four of pentacles hold back you know self-improvement control you have a solid foundation it's like be scarce with your energy when it comes to anybody in your past coming back again you're shining bright shine bright again it's like like it says it's never a mistake to give yourself and it says some people will take you for granted and a lot of the times the people who took you for granted are the people in your past so it's like also take it with a grain of salt because you don't want to give off yourself, your body, your time, your money, whatever you were giving to these people like you did before. A part of the, 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 the experience here is so that you learn your lesson. You learned your lesson. So you know who to give to, like I said in the beginning. You're going to give, but you, you're going to use your judgment people who are really in need not players people who just again they want to come for a good time not a long time because again the goal here is to show that yeah i still control you yeah you can't move on from me i still own you this is why they want to come back it's like coming back to pee on you <laughs> to to mark their territory man or woman you know, that's what it is to, to have dominion. It's about control. So be careful, be mindful of that. Yeah, and it's like right behind it is the judgment card. You know, it's just a lot of you, you're awakened. You know, you forgive people. You know who to show mercy to. You've gone through your rebirth. You have this inner calling. You answer the call. And now that also helps answering the call to action creates new opportunities for you. So with this newness, you're going to be shining because you're healed and it's not on you. It's in you. It's coming from the inside out. This is what, this is the difference between you and them, us and them. It's from the inside out. This is not makeup that you can put on. It doesn't matter how much makeup people who have not done their work, they put on. They can't have that glow. They can't. They don't radiate the way you do. And you can just go out being plain Jane. And it's like you outshine. You know, it's like mirror, mirror on the wall. You know, that kind of thing. It's because of the work that you have done. You forgive. And that is like you know the biggest blockage forgiving others you know the wheel of fortune so it says they may be sending you negative energy miracles are in the dark so for a lot of you the wheel is now turning in your favor right so dear destiny change good luck blessing you know now you're realizing what does not kill you make you stronger you know it's it's just withstanding the pain it, it doesn't last always 
and it's a cycle you know and at one point you're at the bottom and it's like now you're at the top of the wheel because you took the lessons you learned your lessons and now with that you can walk into your purpose because again it's like you learn self-control you know who to hold back from it's kind of like the whole disciplinary process you know you pass the the test and it's like god is saying yes now i can trust you now you are ready now you are ready look the the ten of cups divine love harmony blissful relationship happiness fulfillment your dreams come true family and contentment but again this is after a time of healing because if you're not healed then the person who comes in your life you're gonna be a hot mess too it's not gonna work because the person who is coming they're doing the work this is why it's not 50 50 it's a hundred percent each cup full and running over so you're ready yeah three of ones you are ready you are prepared progress i love this expansion moving forward forward movement for you and here it says love and accept yourself thank you angels for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance i love it that is a part of the inner work that you do and you will do or you should do learn to love and accept yourself and then others will do the same until next time take care and be blessed